Hey everyone, meet my new kitten Gaishe. She is a couple months old and naturally I'm teaching her programming. And as I've been teaching her programming, I came to the question of how can we teach programming faster? If you're learning programming, whatever language, what are some of the things that you can do to learn programming faster? So in this video, I'm gonna explain the cycle that you need to do while learning programming. What are some of the tips and tricks so that you can learn faster? Let's get into it. If you look at an intermediate developer or an advanced developer, you might think that this person is very smart, extremely smart, and they're coming up with all of these new techniques while they're writing code. I beg to defer and say that these developers are not really doing anything innovative or anything very special. They're just reusing some of the knowledge that they have built throughout the years. On some days, they will have new challenges and they will have to think out of the box. But on most days, they are just reusing some of the things that they've learned. But these things that they've learned are buried down under layers of knowledge that they don't really think about them anymore. It comes as second nature. And this is where making mistakes as a developer is one of the most important things. And this is not a motivational video. I'm not telling you to make mistakes to get you excited. You have to make mistakes, but on one condition that I'm gonna talk about in a second. You have to make mistakes know what's wrong and then correct them and then you have to go to sleep every day of course and if you repeat this cycle you'll be able to consolidate knowledge faster than ever. To prove you this I'm gonna write a small piece of code that will extract the names from data. So I'm gonna write the function extract names it will accept the data and then I will return the data.map I will explain a little bit I will explain in a bit my choice for the functions and how I'm actually thinking and how the logic is flowing in my brain. Even though when I write this, I don't really have to think that deep because I got so used to these operations. So data.map, and then this is gonna give us a user, and then I'm gonna return, gives us a user, and then I'm gonna return the user.name. And if I call extract names, of data that's going to give me an array of the names. So this works from the first try because of one important thing. I've made almost every single mistake in the past in this function and and if you're a beginner to intermediate developer you probably made these mistakes as well but it's been so long even if it's a couple of months that you probably forgot about them but they are solidified they are engraved in your brain under layers of knowledge. So Let's take a step back and try to make not every single mistake, but as much, but as many mistakes as possible. So first, I would start by writing extract names of data, and then I would write data.map. Then this will get a user, or let's just use arrow syntax here, arrow functions, and then. I will return the user.name, yeah, because every function needs to have a return. And I will call it extract names of data, but then I get undefined. And then I'm confused. Why am I getting undefined? I have a return. So the first step is I have to know that something didn't work as expected. We can't blame JavaScript here. We can't blame the programming languages. In rare scenarios, it could be that you found a bug, but this is definitely not one of them. So now I have to think, why is this not working? And eventually you have to realize that this is a function and this is a different function. Again, this might seem obvious to you, but take a minute to appreciate all the knowledge that you've accumulated and understand the process so that you can replicate it with other things you want to learn. So now you will come back and then add the return here and it works. Another common mistake that I've seen is forgetting the return over here. And that's something I and nowadays I find immediately because you start seeing patterns in your mistakes. When you get an array of undefined, 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 that means the map is executing. You are transforming every item, but the transformation is not working because every item returns as undefined. And this is when I realized that, oh, I am missing the return inside the inner function. And that's something often that often trips up beginners. Why are there two returns? 
But again, that's because there are two functions over here, this one and this one. Another common mistake is uh, using for each, but the for each doesn't return anything. So even if you have a return from within the for each, it will not return anything. And getting used to using map is a bit of a tough thing, but once you internalize that I have an array and I'm transforming it into another array that I immediately have to use map, then it becomes easier. Of course, there are all these syntax errors. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through all of them, but um, like for, ex for example, this one and expect a token return. That's because you either need to put everything on one line and use the implicit return, or you have to put use the curly braces. And if you try this code, it still doesn't work because we have a missing parentheses. So, well, it was here. <laughs> that was not on purpose. And my point here is to show you that I'm almost sure you've made all of these mistakes before. And because you've made them, the next time you have to write code remotely similar to it, it's going to be quite quick. And you will most likely make the mistake twice. It's not that you make the mistake once and then that's it, you have it forever. No, you will need to make that mistake more than once. So don't be too hard on yourself and realize the process of one, making a mistake, two, realizing that this is a mistake. If you don't realize that this is a mistake, then the whole cycle is broken. So this is fundamentally important to, for example, let's go back to this one. So I need to know that I did something wrong here and this is why I'm getting the undefined undefined. And then I need to try and fix it. No, so I need to understand why this is wrong. And I have to say that it's not always possible to understand the reason why this doesn't work. This becomes a little bit advanced. So maybe understanding why you have undefined undefined can be a little bit tricky in the beginning. But try as much as possible to know why this was wrong and then try to fix it. And this is how you learn. But the last part of learning is really going to sleep because this is where in the REM phase, in the rapid eye movement, where your knowledge gets transferred from the short-term memory into the long-term memory. So it gets stored, just like when you shut down a computer and it moves from the RAM to the hard disk. What a bad example. So, so sleep is very important. And this is why in uh, developer culture, a lot of developers will tell you, did you sleep on it? If you have a problem, you have to sleep on it. That's because when you're sleeping, your brain is trying to think about this and it's also accumulating knowledge from the day and then storing it. So a lot of the times the next day you will wake up with a solution. Also from experience, I realized that if I have to make a certain task, it might take me around 10 hours to complete in one day or it would take me one and a half hour across three days. So by depending on the challenge, of course, on the task, but being able to sleep on it every day. So every time I hit a major challenge, I just stop thinking about it. I move to something else and then I go to sleep. And then the next day I almost immediately have the answer. You end up saving a lot of time. So a lot of the times we think I want to learn programming faster. Can I learn it in a day? That's of course never possible. Or can I learn it in a week? you can try and approach this from a different perspective. And rather than having less days, you can try have a little bit more days or maybe the same amount of days, but less hours every day. Or you could even do a couple of hours in the morning, a couple of hours in the afternoon and a couple of hours afterwards. So this kind of chunking, you're not a chunk yet, helps a lot of the times. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna learn either JavaScript or React or programming from scratch, my courses implement this cycle in them. It, the cycle comes built in in them. You read a lesson, so you acquire new knowledge, you try to solve something, and then you, you will make mistakes, that's guaranteed. And this is why I have the test that will automatically tell you that this is not working. And you also gain extra knowledge here uh, while reading the output of tests. Why is this not working? And then you try and fix it. And once you fix it and do a couple of challenges and you go to sleep, you are solidifying knowledge and you are ready for the next day. And talking again about sleep, yes, there is a button that tells you, remind me tomorrow. So it's more like I've solved so many challenges today. It's time to let it rest. I'm going to click on the button. The next day you're going to receive an email and then you can continue learning. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe, check out my courses, they're linked below, and I'll see you in the next video.